So today we're going to be testing out the Oris Water Force 280. It's a 280mm AIO liquid cooler that uh, Oris actually sent over for review, as well as two 120mm RGB fans. So I'm going to install the Oris ARGB fans at the top of the case as exhaust, and then the AIO liquid cooler at the front of the case as intake. And by the way, for the CPU, I'm using the Core i5 12600K. If you're wondering why I'm not using something hotter to really stress out this liquid cooler, like the Core i9-12900K, because this thing runs super duper hot and um, I don't want to burn this thing up. So I'm going to get started by installing this AIO and then the RGB fans, turn this thing on and obviously stress test it. Alright, so we're back. I installed the AIO at the front of the case uh, with the tubes at the top because there wasn't enough clearance with the graphics card to have the tubes exiting from the bottom of the radiator. Uh, so we're just going to test out performance a bit. So let me just turn this thing on. And I also wanted to mention that the tubing is really, really thick, which should actually help with thermals, but it's a little bit difficult to manage. They kind of just get in the way because they're so large. So I put the side panel back on and I'm going to stress test this thing with Cinebench R23. I'm basically going to run it for 20 minutes heat up the liquid inside the loop, and then uh, check out the max package temperature for the CPU. All right, so after 20 minutes of testing, the max CPU core temperature I recorded is 70 degrees Celsius, and the ambient room temperature in this particular room is 57.7 degrees Fahrenheit, or 14.3 degrees Celsius. I know it's really cold down here. I don't have the heat turned on because obviously I didn't want to skew the results. And just for reference with the Intel Core i5-12600K and a 360 millimeter AIO liquid cooler, I got 62 degrees Celsius for the max CPU core temperature. And that difference in performance is pretty much to be expected when you're comparing a really large 360 millimeter radiator to a slightly smaller 280 millimeter one. And I would say performance is definitely in line with the competition. So I wanted to go over some things I like about this AIO liquid cooler and also some things that I don't like. So the first thing I really like is the large copper cold plate, which is also compatible with larger AMD Threadripper CPUs. So if you use a larger CPU like a Threadripper, then that would be a great choice. The thick tube should also provide slightly better cooling because they also increase water flow. But like I said before, they're kind of stiff, so it might be a little bit hard to adjust the tubes. The pump block is also rotatable and very adjustable, and I also love that because you can install the pump block in almost any situation. But I couldn't get the tubes to exit through the right side where the RAM is located because uh, there were just clearance issues, it didn't fit. Performance with this 280 millimeter liquid cooler is pretty good. And uh, the fans do run pretty quiet, even at 100% fan speed with 100% pump speed. I don't like that the pump block is not fully customizable, so there's no LCD display like some other AIO liquid coolers. You just get that Oris logo, which uh, if you have a couple other Oris products and you do like their logo, I guess it would be fine. But I kind of just like having GIFs or GIFs or whatever you want to call it or just uploading whatever I want on the display. And like I said before, there are three cables for each RGB fan, which is just really hard to manage, especially without an RGB hub. Having that many cables was just so difficult to manage, and I didn't even bother connecting the RGB for the top fan. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the thumb screws for the pump lock are really tiny, and some of them actually just fell down onto the motherboard while I was screwing them on. And obviously I had to pick them back up and then screw them on to secure the cooler onto the CPU. I'd really like to see larger thumb screws, even though I have small fingers because when you're building a PC, you have other things getting in the way like the RAM sticks, the VRM heat sinks. Overall, I think the Water Force 280 is a good AIO liquid cooler, especially if you have other Oris products that you'd like to basically just sync up and have all RGB products in the same ecosystem. If you're looking for a different cooler, I probably recommend the NZXT Kraken Z series if you want a customizable LCD display. They do get pretty expensive though. Arctix AIOs are also pretty good if you want a high performing one, though they look kind of ugly. If you want to check out this cooler, I'll leave a link in the description section below. 
and uh, you can check out current pricing with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video of the Aureus Water Force 280 millimeter liquid cooler. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.